Hello students, welcome class 4 to your e-learning computer class. I hope you all have watched your previous classes. Previous class, we have started a new chapter, already started chapter number 5, formatting text in Microsoft Word 2010. Till applying bold italic and underline we have completed, okay. I hope you all have watched and now today I will discuss highlighting the text with color, how to highlight the text with color from here page number 62. So, you all please open your book and try to understand, okay. How this all this chapter is fully a practical related who have computer in their home, please practice, sit and apply all the effect and see the effect, please apply all the functions and see the effect, okay. Now highlighting the text with color and you all know very well that you have computer exam also chapter number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 have in computer syllabus, in term 1 syllabus, okay. Highlighting the text with color, with the help of text highlight color options, you can highlight the text with different color. Text highlight color option is available where select the text how to do first in where in which line suppose you have written a document there is a 10 lines in any particular line you want to highlight with any other any color with any color. So, first you have to select the line whatever changes you want whatever formatting you want to do first you have to select the portion first select the line step 1 select the text then click on click on the down arrow next to the text highlight text highlight and click on the down arrow next to the text highlight color this is the text highlight color this type of option so over there this button to display different color when when you click over here this button when you click you can see the color box will open which color you required you just choose that color okay display the different color select the desired color okay in select it you can see the effect that particular selected line will be selected line which line you want to highlight that line will be highlighted okay applying text effect and typography uh, to apply text effect for following for follow the steps select the text what you want to do first you have to select the portion first select the text and then click on the text effect and typography there is a they, this button is available over here these all are in under of the home tab and this button you just click and when you click this button to display the available options for effects this type of menu will open and you just choose select any of text any of the text effect available by clicking on it suppose you need this one you just click on it that will be applied okay some additional effect increasing the font size increasing the font size this is the increasing font size this button also in there this is increasing font size and this is decreasing decreasing font size using this this is apply for increasing font size we can increase the font size by using this this effect is used to increase the size of the selected text some particular text you want to increase or decrease first select it and then apply this effect to apply this effect you just need to select the text and click on the click on this button okay and if you want to decrease the font size to this effect is used to decrease the font size the selected text to apply this effect you just need to select the text whatever you want to do first you have to select the text after selecting the text you just click this button you just click this button using this button you can decrease the font size you just need to select the text and click on this button for decrease decrease font size and this is increase font size okay and subscript and superscript now let's uh, let's see what is subscript subscript this is text this is called subscript and this is superscript
superscript subscript if you want to this is a mathematical calculation this uh, in when you want to write any mathematical formula we need this type of symbol this is subscript helps you to type very small letter just below the line this is just below the line if you want to type the number or letter anything below the line of the text while subscript helps you to type very small letter just above on line of the text and we need to just select the letter and apply this effect by clicking on them there is a option subscript and superscript option is available in there here you just if you want to subscript then this one you have to click and if you want to superscript then you have to click over here after selecting the character or text okay and strike through strike strike through suppose you have written a b c and this okay this is called strike through this is used to cross out something by drawing a line through through it by drawing a line if you want to draw a line this is used to cross out something by drawing a line through it this is called after typing the text if you want to need this effect you just after select the text apply strike through option this is the strike through option you just click over here and you can get this effect okay clear all formatting how to clear all formatting these features help you to clear all the formatting you have done and leave the text as it was clear okay this feature help you to clear all the formatting suppose in your document you have set few you have done some formatting you have changes from formatting and after changing you thought that no need this formatting you can clear all the formatting how this feature help you to clear all the formatting you have done and leave the text as it was clear to use this feature follow the simple steps select the text in which you want to clear the formatting and click on the clear all formatting this button is available this button is over here this button using this button you can you can clear all formatting after selecting the text select the text in which you want to clear the formatting and then click on the clear all formatting button when you clear when you click the clear all formatting button the formatting will be clear okay the paragraph group which is the paragraph group changing text alignment there are different alignment is there left alignment right alignment center alignment and justify there are four types of alignments are there alignment refer to position of the text on a page position of the text on a page suppose this is a page and if you want when you type left side should be a same left side will start from the same position this is called left alignment and if you feel that then my when you write the text my right side will be all the sentence will start from here right this is called right alignment and center alignment means your text will be in center of the page okay this is called center alignment and there is justify microsoft word provides four types of alignment which are as follows turn over the page 64 alignment here alignment left look here left alignment this is this type of all the symbol are available in there you just left alignment means left side will start from same okay follow is but the right side there is a not necessary it will be same but the left side same this is the align left left and this is align center alignment this is called the center alignment okay both the side will be here is the center alignment 
okay whatever later but it will be in the center of the page this is the center and right alignment right side same but the left side is doesn't matter it is a aligned left left and there is a justify justify means all wherever all the sentence will be same okay this is called justify maybe gap one sentence will start and three sentence here maybe a four sentence words okay in this way it will align that means it is a justify okay listen in place of the align left in places the selected text towards the left margin by default the text is always aligned to the left margin if you don't say it but always by default it's in left alignment and in left center it places the selected text in the center of the left and right margin center of the left and right margin it is mostly used for titles and headings generally is we use this one heading and title okay and align right it places the selected text towards the right margin towards the right margin it is align right this is align this is right side align this is right not left this is left left side same align right right side will be the places the selected text towards the right margin and justify justify it places the selected text evenly between the left and right margins and it is mostly used for designing books magazine and newspaper newspaper sometimes we see that this page is only vacant there is a two line one to require so in this manner they manage okay this is called justify this is called justify okay how to align how to align first i have to select the text to align the text in the any desired alignment follow the given steps select the text first you have to select the text and then click any desired alignment option in the paragraph group this is the paragraph group from the paragraph group you have to select the desired alignment in it is in under of the home tab we can also change the alignment using the paragraph group we can also change the alignment using the paragraph group and click on the paragraph dialog box launched this is the paragraph dialog box either on the home tab or page layout tab or the page layout tab the paragraph dialog box appears and select the desired alignment if you feel that another type of alignment is required you can do this also this click on the paragraph dialog box launcher this is the paragraph dialog box launcher either the home tab or page layout and the paragraph dialog box appears and select the desired alignment okay and select the desired alignment and now here is uh, let's check let's check you all please solve this one in your book now match the following a b c and d left alignment right alignment center alignment and justified justified okay this is this is one Two, three, and four.
okay left alignment this is this is left alignment of a and right alignment this is right alignment number b center alignment this is center alignment number c and justi justi fight this is number d this is number d c b d a using the bulleted or number list this one i will discuss next okay now i will discuss this one you all please complete this one and using bulleted or numbered list how to apply when you will sometimes we want to write in a bulleted form in a list form okay when we give a list we give a number or any use any other pattern also using bulleted or numbered list listing the of things makes our work very easy number 1 2 3 if we mention anything so we can easily pick up from there we can easily find out listed thing listing the thing make our work very easy in figure 5.8 and highlighted button is bullets button in which figure 5.8 the highlighted button the number button okay there is a bullet is here there is a number bullet and a patterns there is a another bullet form is also there look here these all are number bullet a b c d in capital small 1 2 3 4 or roman 1 2 3 4 there are different patterns are there and these are the this are the another bullet there are symbol is there we can apply any bullets you can add bullets or number these are bullets and these are numbers we can apply anything you can add bullets or numbers to the text by selecting the entire text or by putting a bullet or number in one sentence and after that continue typing other items and press the enter key after each item when you say it first if you say number in number bullet 1 2 3 4 and up first write the text and apply one and then when after complete the sentence or what when you press you have to press the enter key when you press the enter key automatically the next line the cursor will come down and you can see the number next number number 2 in this way it will goes on if you apply any bullet that also when you press the enter key next and also you can see that type of bullet and select the text click on the bullets or number bullet number buttons present in the paragraph group this all are in under of the paragraph group and select the bullet or numbering style of your choice if as you like whatever bullet you want to apply and you will find that the selected text is bulleted or numbered and identities appear okay in this number 1 2 3 4 if you apply in that manner you can see the text or if you apply any other type of bullet tick mark there are different type of bullets are there this type of bullets are there you can see this type of bullets are there number 1 2 3 4 a b c d there are different type of bullets are there sometimes you can see this type of bullets also okay and to switch of the tool press the bullet or number button again to switch off and after applying when you feel that no uh, you know, when you apply then you feel that no need now simple text you want to type again you have to click switch off the tool press the bullet or number buttons again same as caps lock if you want to write in capital letter caps lock press if you no need again press that mean it will switch off okay okay for today this much next class i will discuss changing line spacing how to changing line spacing okay you all will follow the class carefully and read the chapter next class i will discuss next of the part and book exercise thank you bye bye have a nice day